Swords on the back, is it really possible? Well, yes, as you can see. There's my Scottish Claymore. Now I've seen a lot of criticism of the sword on back theories and most of it's legit. But I'm starting to see people saying that it's not possible at all. That's just not true. Here I'm going to try and pull on the scabbard. And it still works. But due to just the angle on my body, I'm going to be using my off hand to, draw, to uh, draw it. This is just a look at how it's put together. There's two prongs here just holding the cross guard and the, sh the uh, scabbard is cut out, so. There it is. And I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to take it out. There's not much overextension of your arms. And that's just the minimum amount that I need to pull it out to get it free of the scabbard, and then I can swing it around my back. Yeah, I can pull it out even further. Easy. It's obviously a very Scottish thing, though it can be done to basically any straight sword. Some of the scabbards are nothing but a flap here with some of the cross guard holding bars and then a sheath at the bottom. Even video games have figured this out, so I'm not really sure why this counter myth exists. Claymores also have a quick release system. You can see the strap there near the cross guard. It can be a snap or more, or more commonly a couple of strings of leather uh, just tied together. And uh, while rushing into battle, you just pull the string and then you can swing the sword out. Now I showed you some katana stuff earlier, so let's talk about that. As I understand it, this is a less controversial issue than the straight long sword on the back. Um, and I believe I learned this technique from YouTube a while back. Um, especially unarmored, it's very fluid and easy to sheathe and unsheathe and just swing all around your body. Um, the curve does make it a little bit easier. Uh, the key though is with your offhand. You see as I reach back blindly and I don't know where the handle is, but I can basically just bring it into my hand by grabbing the bottom of the uh, scabbard with my other hand. Then I have to pull the scabbard opposite the sword down and voila! And the same principle applies to the straight swords. Here I'm just going to show you uh, my bastard sword, which is another long sword. You cannot just strap any sword to your back and expect it to work. but Given some stretching, I actually did get it out using the pulling on sheath technique. You can see that uh, they're very similar lengths. The claymore is actually longer, and that I easily got off my back. And here I'm just shaking them around, showing you some uh, motion testing. I'm not squeezing the blade in this. You can see the cross guard bounce up and down. And it just does fine when running with it, when twisting. And especially if you add a uh, security latch, a quick release latch. The claymore is much longer though, so it needs that kind of specialized scabbard. Shorter straight swords can be put on the back, but not on a like a mounted plate. You need to be able to pull that scabbard down and away from the blade while you're pulling the blade out of it. Thank you.